Hello, I'd like to share another script that I've made a while ago and end up using in all my games. I think it might be able to help some people. Uh, it's my sound manager and I use it to just play sounds easily in all my games. So what I wanted was a system that would just auto-initialize and pick all the sounds I want and just be able to call it from script with a simple command. So if you look at my script here, what I'm doing is I have a string that has the name of the sound effects I want and I'm just calling this string dot play sound. I could also call this string dot play sound of position or sound manager dot play this string or sound manager dot play this string with position or if I want I could just call the prefab itself that would also work. So what I have here is I have a resource folder Inside this resource folder, I have a sound groups folder. It's very important that this folder is called sound groups because this is what the script is looking for. Okay, so the script is indexing all of the prefabs it finds under this folder. And this prefab is supposed to have an audio source and a sound group script. The sound groups pretty much a collection of sounds of that type. So if I have like a hertz, hertz sound effects, I'll put all my hertz sound effects in here. And I'll call it hurt sound effects or something, and then I can just call from script hurt sound effects. If you see here on that public variable, I just called it click sound effects because that's the name of this prefab. Then what it's doing, it's uh, picking a random sound from these options. It's applying a random pitch and splaying every time that I click. And the cool thing about it is that it uses a pool system, so it's not creating and destroying things. If I open this here, you'll see the sounds pool. When I click on the, the box, it goes into the sounds playing list, then goes back to the pool. It's reusable. So it's not destroying things, it's not a messing with garbage collection, just using sounds and reusing them again. Uh, the random pitch is really cool because it allows me to add even more variation. So let's say I only have one sound in this. But I want to have lots of variation. I can say like, oh, pick a random pitch between 0 0.5 and 1.2. So you see it gives me different results each time I click. Another thing you can do is actually have music. So I'm gonna... I got this free music here from public domain. So yeah, just so to show you these two guys. So let's say this scene is called a sound example scene. And I did this in the script to make it easier to just assign music to certain levels. So if I have a, a prefab with the same name of the scene, whenever the sound manager starts, it's gonna play that sound, that music. So I have to set music here. I'm just gonna plug here my piano, concert, whatever. So whenever the sound manager initiates, the music initiates with it. And with music, okay, I'm gonna stop this. With music, instead of picking a random one, he's actually gonna uh, trace this as a playlist. So if I have several musics, it's gonna play one after the other. So yeah, from, from the scripts, the same thing to play the music, just like pick the either the, s the string name or put the prefab in there and play. So yeah, I hope this helps people out there that are trying to put music in their games. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and the link to the Unish package is in the comments, All right? Thank you.